these dogs. It's starting to cool down now in late May. So I've decided I'd uh, come and have a look at some more open country that uh, borders the rainforest. There's a bit more sunlight here in the uh, early morning. The pigs might be finding patches of sun to warm up before they uh, do whatever they're doing for the rest of the day. So I've, uh, I've brought the whole buddy, the whole whole pack out. We've got Big Borry, the holder. We've got Mia, who's just turned back up, the Catahoula. Got Little Prickle, little buddy, uh, Billy Cattle, Kelpie Wivet, Pit Grey Stag, which is a bit of a mouthful. I have to come up with another name for that. Got Bindi, pretty much the same breeding. And got Spike, pretty much the same breeding as well. But they're keen as mustard. <laughs> so the dogs have been working this area fiercely the last sort of 15 minutes. Sent them back in. I've just heard a uh, bark from Freckle. And nothing. Spike and Bindi are taken off with her. There's definitely some sign around here that there that's pretty fresh but the pigs around here are definitely runners so after that initial short bark from prickle there was nothing but silence for a few minutes so i followed up their track and the sign started telling me that they are onto a good boar well, this has got to be one of the closest and easiest pigs I've had in a quite a long time. Good dogs. Good dogs. Oh, he's a good boar too. He's a good boar. Hang on to him, Barry. Hang on to him, Barry. That's it. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. That is a solid, solid pig for the rainforest. Not much in the way of hooks. A little long and skinny, but good body size. This dog would be, I mean, this pig would be, I reckon, a good solid 80. Just given how fat he is. That's a bloody beautiful, beautiful rainforest hog. Well, it's about time the dogs let me have an easy pig. This bloke uh, was obviously hanging around, unluckily, pretty much uh, where I'd pulled up. He wasn't far away anyway. And dogs were going a bit bloody stir crazy as I was trying to get myself all prepared and taking off and doing runs. Sort of, you know, 500 meters there, a couple hundred meters there. And uh, yeah, they finally, um, Prickle it was, I think, was the first bark. Prickle and Borry together. Prickle barked and uh, those two, did a big circle and this ball ran straight to the creek and straight along the bank and they pulled him up in this patch of guinea grass I drove straight back down the track and it's only a stone's throw from the from the road so that was uh, really well done uh, Mia was off on her own mission but yeah this was a good ball nice fat easy pig I'd say he'd probably be 80 80 ish you can see he's been chased a bit before he's missing a bit of his ear there that's uh, that's been healed, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty good pig for the uh, dogs to get around here. They're real runners, so I'm gonna uh, drop this bloke's guts out, even though he's a bit bloated. And uh, yeah, I might call it a morning. Might come back out the sarvo.